things you have to try in France. Discovering a culture for its food and drink can be just as much fun as exploring the destination itself. We all know that France is known for its gourmet food as well as their fashion. Well, there are a few drinks that are extra special and here I will tell you all about them. Although champagne is at the top of any French girl's list, I'm offering up five other French drinks you must try. First one is called citron pressé. Please repeat after me. Citron pressé. Especially refreshing on a hot summer's day in Paris is a fancy French lemonade. Traditionally served in cafes, it is the perfect first quenching beverage. Your waiter brings a tall glass filled with ice and freshly squeezed lemon juice, a pitcher of cold water and some sugar. You get to mix your own concoction for the desired amount of tart versus sweet. Your lips will be so packed you may just be pronouncing your French better after you sip. The second drink is café au lait. Okay, let's pronounce after me. Café au lait. By far, it's my favorite authentic French drink. Being a coffee addict, this is my beverage of choice to start every French day. A bowl filled with an equal mixture of steaming hot coffee and fluffy warm milk create a mocha-colored beverage that warms both the heart and the fingertip. It marries best with buttery, flaky croissant. The third drink is called Kir or Kir Royal. Repeat after me, please. Kir or Kir Royal. The creme de la creme of elegant French cocktails, it's the drink of choice for the popular before dinner event known as aperitif. Repeat after me. Aperitif. Served in a champagne flute, this mixture of white wine, Kia, or champagne, Kia Royal, and a splash of creme de cassis, which is a black currant liquor, a show-stopping blush pink after mixing. Go for the royal if you like bubbles that tickle the taste buds on the way down. The fourth one is called pastis. So repeat after me, please. Pastis. Made fashionable in the south of France, specifically Provence and Marseille, pastis is mainly a summer beverage, but don't let that stop you. It has a strong anise or licorice flavor and is typically diluted with cool spring water to create a milky, refreshing elixir. And finally, the fifth drink is chocolat chaud. So the T is silent of chocolat and the D of chaud. So one more time, chocolat chaud. Winter can be downright bone chilling in France, not to mention the biting wind and rain in the other months. Head for the cover of a spot where they serve chocolat chaud. This is not your typical American cocoa powder and hot water mixture. This is thick, rich and decadent melted dark chocolate poured into cups and served alongside its own separate dish of fresh whipped cream. So thick and creamy, in fact, that you might just be able to eat it with a spoon or at least stand one up in the cup. 